the Wells Fargo Championship gets into full swing this week at Quail Hollow Country Club. While golfers are the star attraction, what many may not pay attention to is the golf course itself. Countless hours have gone into keeping the lush greens and fairways in tip top shape. And many of those hours were spent by graduates and current students at Central Piedmont Community College. Carolina Impact's Jason Terza shows us CPCC's Turf Grass Management Program has its imprint all over town. The Quail Hollow Club in South Charlotte. Quiet, peaceful, serene from the outside. Loud, boisterous, noisy on the inside. Fans packing in this week to see the likes of Phil Mickelson and last year's Wells Fargo Championship winner, Rory McIlroy. Tournament preparation has been going on for weeks, months in fact. Several of the club's 24 full-time groundskeepers have ties to Central Piedmont Community College's turf grass management program. That machine that just whizzed by flattens out the putting greens. The driver, Bernie Rodriguez, he's on track to earn his degree in December. You know, this job's kind of like a jack of all trades kind of deal. You know, one day you're a farmer, one day you're a businessman, one day you're a chemist, and that's, you know, that's, that's the cool part about the job. Dylan Farber has been working at Quail Hollow for nearly two years. He earned his degree from CPCC last year. These guys do it all out here, from dealing with small stuff like hoses and rakes to big heavy machinery like mowers and tractors. There's even a small warehouse filled with fertilizers and pesticides. Seeing the hard work that you put in come tournament time, seeing it on TV when Rory McIlroy sinks a birdie putt on 18, and you know the conditions that you put on the course are the reason he was able to do that. You know, there's nothing like that reward. Bernie and Dylan are just two of the many students to come through Central Piedmont's turf grass program, which launched 15 years ago. John Royals was hired to start up the program in 2001. He's been here ever since. My goal was to be the best turf program in the country, and I think for two-year programs, we, we are at that mark. With classes held at the Cato campus in Northeast Charlotte, the two-year program blends classroom study with hands-on outdoor training. Students have their own baseball field and putting green to work with, just steps from the classroom. Students can earn an associate degree in applied science and turf grass management technology. The program gives students the skills necessary for management of golf courses, sports fields, lawn care, landscaping, irrigation design, and sod production. This is the best place to have a turf grass management school because this is the hardest place in the country to grow grass. The warm season grasses don't grow good because we get, can get too cold and we certainly get too hot for in the summer for the cool season grasses and we take care of both. There is so much information and you don't really realize how much there really is until you come here and start learning about it. I mean, you know, we do a lot of things in class. Um, you kind of learn the reason why we do things out here in class and uh, to be able just to kind of learn that stuff and bring it out here to work is, is absolutely fantastic. If you think turf grass management is just about mowing and watering, guess again. This truly is a science. You can think of it as a prescription at the doctor. What we'll do is we can take soil tests, tissue sample tests, and we'll send it off to a lab, and they basically analyze it and send you a prescription. Hey, your grass needs nitrogen, potassium, all these micronutrients that you may not think of off the top of your head. That's all it is a science. Current students Chase McGinnis and Kyle Phillips each work with the Charlotte Knights baseball team. Both are set to graduate in December. The club has just two full-time groundskeepers, but employs 12 to 14 people during the season. The goal is always the same, perfection. So while we're taking classes, we're still learning outside of class, so when we do go to class, we're applying it to the work that we do. Right now, we still have some cool season weeds um, that we're pulling, and uh, the hotter it gets, uh, the more water we're gonna have to put down. Um, so we'll be dragging hoses all summer trying to uh, keep this grass as green as it is right now. The Carolina Panthers have eight full-time groundskeepers. Brian Teague, who's working on his degree at CPCC, has been with the team four years. The entire complex is roughly 30 acres, um, and it takes all eight of us. Even in this time of year, with no games for a few months, the field is in great shape. A lot of people don't realize it never stops around here. It never does. Not only does the Panther grounds crew maintain the playing field inside Bank of America Stadium, it also manages the practice fields outside, as well as all the landscaping around the stadium. Planters, flowers, shrubs, and trees. We're really, really hard on ourselves because we want absolute perfection. And that's what we demand of ourselves. Turfgrass management is a growing $150 billion industry. But like many careers, the salary range depends on where and what the specific job is. That could mean 10 bucks an hour for part-time summer help, 
to over six figures for a golf course superintendent. Average starting salaries are roughly 35 to 45,000. I think this career is kind of the hidden gem of career paths that no one really hears about until you're in it. I run into graduates all the time that are superintendents that are working for ball fields or, or running their own business and they're very successful and I help them in a small way get there, get accomplished what they wanted to do in life and, it, and it's really uh, makes me feel good. One thing all of John's students past and present share, a love for being outside. No desk, computer, or office required. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Churches reporting. Thanks, Jason. For more information about CPCC's Turf Grass Management Program, look for the story on the Carolina Impact page at